So what are some of your favorite traditions and what makes them meaningful? My favorite tradition is convocation. It happens right at the beginning of the school year, uh, the day before classes start. So it's in the fall, it's still really nice out and everyone wears their class colors. So I'm a sophomore, I'm decked in red, like red. Green. You're in green. And we're seniors, blue. so we're blue. Yeah, yeah. and uh, there's other people in gold or in purple and it's just really awesome. People wear really wacky outfits and there's speakers, the president speaks, there's faculty speakers, there's student speakers, there's a performance of like this really cool song we've done a couple years. My in first year now. there was a flash mob. A flash <laughs> mob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's just really fun. It's really goofy. Everyone has a really great time. There's and, the picnic on the green. Yeah, afterwards mm -hmm. we all have this big picnic on the green uh, you see everyone you haven't seen all year which is really fun and it's just a great year to like start and get excited for the school year and for what's to come yeah and it's still warm so we can all be outside which is <laughs> really great. nice yeah yeah i really love the big little tradition yeah. um which is when they pair an incoming first year with a junior that's already been here and it's just a really nice way to kind of be gifted a mentor coming mm -hmm. in here um, and it's also nice to now, as I'm a junior, um, get a little and get to know somebody and be able to guide somebody through their Mount Holyoke journey the same way that I was. Mm -hmm. um, my big ended up becoming one of my best friends and now my little is, I'm getting really, really close with her, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm still connecting with my big. She lives in Florida, she's an educator and mm -hmm. I just, I love her so much. And I have two littles now. So it's definitely a great mentor, like relationship and friendship as mm -hmm. well. For sure. Yeah, and even without like kind of the formal big little tradition, I feel like we can all relate to like having, like being able to mentor underclassmen. Like as you kind of grow and become older, you get to like, you just start these mentorship relationships mm -hmm. that are like friendships, but also you get to like show people the ropes. Like I remember coming in and I didn't know about like one of the special stations in Blanche and some, one of the seniors in my acapella group was like, oh, come here, they have like buffalo chicken mac and cheese. And I was like, no way, like, and just like silly things like that. Like they were showing me the ropes of, of how to work, like navigate the school um, and I couldn't have done it without them. So being able to give that now to underclassmen is really special. What's your favorite tradition? Um, my favorite tradition is Pangy Day. That's the last Friday of classes in the spring. Um, and there's like lots of different things that happen. We do like student performances and the amphitheater and games on the green and a maypole. Um, and then there's like flower crown making, just like lots of fun, silly stuff. Um, and kind of similarly to convocation, like when we're all coming back and everybody is saying hello again um, after the summer, Pangy Day is a like send off to all of your friends when it's like warm and you get to spend some time outside. Um, it's funny because I actually visited Mount Holyoke after getting accepted on Pangy Day. And that's really like what made me come to Mount Holyoke. I saw the community, everybody was so welcoming. It wasn't like I was here as like a stranger. I felt like I was part of the community and the food was great and the weather was great. So that's like part of the reason why I came to Mount Holyoke. Yeah, and especially after like a winter in Massachusetts, um, oh, yeah. being able to like be outside, like, and this is like formally Pangy Day, but just like as soon as it gets warm, everybody's like on, on the green. Grass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, like everyone goes right outside. The yeah. energy on campus when it's nice outside is fantastic. And yeah. sort of related to Pangy Day, spring weekend is also a great tradition yes. where we have food trucks and a rock climbing wall and yeah. fair yeah. rides. Yeah. Um, and that's the same sort of energy of it's a Saturday or Sunday afternoon and everybody's just outside and so excited to be together and mm -hmm. appreciating like the weather that we now have, mm -hmm. which is really fun. Yeah, and then even Mountain Day where in a random day in the fall, we get um, to cancel classes and just climb the mountain. And the bells ring seven times, a hundred times at 7 a.m. to wake you up. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the best part is that we get ice cream on the top of the mountain and we get to climb with our friends and take pictures. I love the hike. I've done both different ways yeah. on the path and not on the path. Um, and they're both just so beautiful and it's such a nice time to spend with friends. And yeah, and then the rest of the day you come back down and there's still no classes. You just yeah. hang out with your friends and, you know, like make the most of the day, whatever you want to do. Yeah, and like you need that break, like as classes start picking up in the fall, just like everybody waits for the day. Like we're all like, when's it going to be? Because you don't, you don't know when Mountain Day is until 7 a.m. that day. Yeah. Um, so like you're like, should I not do my readings tonight? Maybe <laughs> class will be canceled tomorrow, <laughs> but you can never know. Uh, so it's just like, it's exciting. And then like, if you're good and you do all your homework, when Mountain Day happens, you're like, oh, I'm so far ahead. I've already done all my homework. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but if you don't, then you're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you're the Guilty. <laughs>